Goku has gained a lot of power-ups since the start of Dragon Ball Z. He now has access to many forms and techniques for making himself stronger, including Super Saiyans 1 through 3, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, and Ultra Instinct. Going back to the start of Dragon Ball Z, before the concept of the Super Saiyan was even brought up, Goku had another power-up technique that he relied on, the Kaioken. The Kaioken used to be Goku's go-to power-up. It could multiply his strength and speed in short bursts. It became largely obsolete with the introduction of the Super Saiyans, however, which is why it wasn't really used again until Dragon Ball Super. However, the technique itself is still pretty cool and deserves more attention. In honor of the awesomeness of the Kaioken, here's a look at what it does, where Goku learned it, and how he uses it. It all started during Goku's time preparing for the arrival of Vegeta and Nappa. In order to obtain the strength to fight them, he ventured to King Kai's planet in hopes of being trained by him. After putting Goku through some trials, the Lord of Worlds concluded that the Saiyan had what it took to master both the Kaioken and the Spirit Bomb, so the two of them began training right away. Unfortunately, very little of Goku's time spent learning the Kaioken is actually shown on screen. The training is only seen briefly during the recap of episode 21, Come Forth Shenron, the Saiyans arrive on Earth. During the recap, Goku is briefly shown practicing the technique alongside King Kai, on some rocks. King Kai gets worn out and has to stop, but Goku is able to keep going and complete the training session, thus displaying his amazing potential. The Kaioken serves to strengthen the user in an instant that it's used. It can be used for extended periods and can even multiply one's power by as much as one wants, but it's risky. If it's used too much, it can destroy one's body and end their fighting career. Goku first successfully used the technique against Nappa. Before the Malevolent Saiyan can attack Krillin and Gohan, Goku used the technique to catch up to Nappa and break his back. This isn't bad for a first try using it in actual combat. Goku's second time using the Kaioken didn't go as smoothly. Against Vegeta, Goku was forced to use the Kaioken times 3 and eventually times 4 just to force Vegeta back. This was bad as not only did Goku have to use the technique for an extended period of time, but his body wasn't strong enough to handle more than the Kaioken times 2. Even if Vegeta hadn't later crushed his body, he still would have been left in agonizing pain. Goku got another good opportunity to use his Kaioken against Frieza. In this fight, Goku burst with energy and newly found resolve launched a Kamehameha in a tandem with the Kaioken times 20 to blast away his enemy for the sake of his friends. It was the first time Goku did any real damage to Frieza in his final form, which also wounded his ego. Goku was eventually able to overwhelm Frieza with his new Super Saiyan transformation. Not only did this form make Goku stronger than he ever would have been with the Kaioken, but it apparently didn't come at any backwards draws of the technique. With the introduction of this power-up, the Kaioken was shelved for the rest of Dragon Ball Z. The Kaioken wouldn't be used canically again until the Universe 6 saga of Dragon Ball Super. According to Goku, he had stopped using the technique because it wouldn't work alongside Super Saiyan. So Super Saiyan Blue works fundamentally different than Super Saiyan, the technique became accessible again. Goku's tense new blue and red state gave him the power necessary to take on opponents like Hit and Zamasu. As impractical as it was for a while, Kaioken is certainly one of Goku's cooler techniques. It gives him an awesome red glow and has its own sound effects, almost always at a spectacular show. King Kai's ultimate technique served as the respect it gets, both in-universe and out.